Hey, what's up guys, it's Apps here, and in this video, I'll be showing you 11 new changes slash features in Xcode 10. Now, starting off with number one is iOS 12 simulators, along with watchOS 5 and the updated tvOS. But so all older devices that were on Xcode 9 are now updated to iOS 12, and when future devices come, support will be added. Second feature, number two, is dark mode within Xcode. Now with macOS Mojave, you do have default dark modes, so you don't need to go into preferences as of right now. Uh, but if you do dark mode via Xcode preferences in Xcode and you're on, you're not on Mojave, then you, the panes are not dark, so only the coding area and this uh, print area down here are dark. But if once you upgrade to Mojave, everything will be dark in here. Feature number three is coding snippets. So let's say we wanted to add a variable. We could easily do that by going, clicking this button up here, which is the library now. We can just drag a Swift var declaration. We can name this anything we want. So there we go, that's how easy it is to make coding snippets. Number four, there are now libraries, just like coding snippets, for UI elements. So they are no longer here within the pane on the right, they are now moved up here. So I need to add a button here, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in. So there we go. Libraries in Xcode 10. Number 5. So with the Xcode 10, there is faster compile time, at least Apple claims. It definitely does feel a lot faster with the Xcode 10 comparing it to Xcode 9. So apps are compiling much faster. So there we go. Change number six. So with uh, XO10, there is now updated version of Swift, which is Swift 4.2. Feature number seven. Now I can't show you this right now, as of right now. This will change in the future, though. But this is remember the first beta. But that feature is machine learning within Swift Playgrounds. So unfortunately, I can't show you that right now, as I do not have access to it but it will be coming soon. Feature number 8 in XO10. You can easily discard changes. So let's say I want to delete this. I don't have to press and hold the delete key or select it. I can easily tap and discard. So I'll do that again. So just click on this little area here and discard and it's gone. And these also show if you have made any changes. So I've made a change here with the print statement right here so it'll show that I've changed it. Now next change which is change number nine even though this is really small down here there used to be a did receive memory warning section and that is gone. Change number ten. There is now a different comment color so previously with the previous versions of Xcode comments were green now they are gray. This, uh, it doesn't matter if you're in dark mode or light mode, comments still stay gray. And last but not least, feature number 11 is the font is bigger within Xcode itself. So this is a bigger font compared to Xcode 9. I must say it does look better, it looks a bit more clean. Along with updated colors a bit, but it does look very clean, I must say. Anyways guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, speed round type of changes. Uh, if you do like it, just let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, uh, do check out my Discord chat group. Um, it'll be on your screen right now or in the description below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.